this is Dottie and Leia. They've just had their breakfast. Now they're eating hay. These are wild ponies. These are very cool to walk from the west. Actually, they're fillies. Two fillies. They're uh, 15 months old. And I've been working with them for oh, a couple of months. I got them as yearlings just a, just a year. and So I've had them Spending a little time with them this morning. I want to show you my hay feeder here. Play right here on with Dottie and Leia. And this is the 30 day anniversary of their undertaking their training. As of 30 days ago, they'd never had harness on, and since then, they have been broke to drive single, double, three abreast, and now we're out on a nice sleigh ride, and they're going along quiet. We actually met a snowmobile and they were fine with that. So this is the sort of training that you can expect with a team of quiet horses that are handled well and there's no drama, there's no beating on them, there's no need for aggressive behavior. They just go right along and they're leaning into their collars and they're willing to pull and they've got a long ways to go yet, but this is pretty good for, they've probably been hooked uh, 13 times, 15 times in that range. Try to hook them every couple days, sometimes two days in a row, but I like to give them time off between to think about it, you know, give them a lesson. I try to keep the lessons short. An hour is lots for a young horse. You don't need to be working the, the tire out of them. So, anyways, I'm going to sign off now. And I'll try to post this up and you can enjoy the, the beautiful scenery, the Ganraska Forest. And, uh, it's about minus 20 degrees out here Celsius, so it's a little nippy. So I gotta put my glove back on my hand too. So over and out. My friends live here. These horses are not my slaves, nor am I their master. They're horses, and I am a horseman. Caretaker, steward, manager, provider, companion. We work together to accomplish the tasks that need doing. This is teamwork, and I am a teamster. A horseman without horses is nothing. A teamster without a team is nothing. So horses are everything. They work for hay. For oats, a friendly voice, a gentle hand, is all the recognition they expect. We work side by side as seasons come and go, and they will grow old in harness as I grow old beside them, and when the time comes to say a last farewell, I will never forget. They are my friends.
This is Dottie and Leia. These were our half sisters, and I trained them together as a team. And now Dottie's suffering, and Leia is sympathetic to her. If anybody says that horses don't recognize each other and have feelings, then they obviously have never been around horses. This is Dottie, and this is the day before I have to put her down. Um, the vet has advised me to euthanize her. She has been given a very grim prognosis, uh, diagnosis. She sustained a traumatic uh, fracture injury on pasture. We're not sure how it happened. There's no explanation as to why or how, but it's in her hawk and she's unable to uh, ambulate. And so the vet is coming tomorrow. So I wanted to say this to Dottie. Well, she could hear me because <laughs> I think it's important to, to, to say things. Daddy, I never expected to have to say goodbye so soon. When you came into my life, along with your two half-sisters and half-brother three years ago, I was planning on a lifetime together. I had no way of knowing your life was going to be so short. I just want to say I love you. I will miss you. If there is anything I have done that was unworthy of such a noble creature, please forgive me. When you get to the next place, please keep your beautiful eyes open. And if you meet a bay filly named Calypso. No, she is also loved by me, still, and I still miss her. And if you meet a shy black filly named Lyric, I lost her too and never had a chance to share life together. Now you go safely, my dear, Dottie. Be free, and know I will miss you, your friend, Dominic. Goodbye, Daddy. So long, my friend.
I'll never forget you.